When you think of tornadoes, you may think of the Great Plains and Deep South, but tornadoes can and do happen in all 50 states. Tornadoes form when warm, moist air at the surface is heading in one direction, while stronger air aloft is heading in another direction. This is known as wind shear. Wind shear rolls the air into a horizontal rotating column of air. And once the thunderstorm forms, in comes the updraft. The updraft is the rising motion in a thunderstorm created by instability in the atmosphere. The rising motion causes the rotating column of air to become vertical. As the storm intensifies, a wall cloud can develop beneath the base of a cumulonimbus cloud. It is an area of strongest updraft within a thunderstorm. Wall clouds can be a good warning for possible tornado development. If you do see this cloud, look for rotation. It could mean a tornado is trying to form. The rotating column of air continues to build downward. If it doesn't reach the ground, it's a funnel cloud. If it does reach the ground, it's a tornado. Pennsylvania averages about 16 tornadoes a year with the majority of them happening in May, June, and July. And they can happen year round and they can be strong. The Susquehanna Valley averages more than two tornadoes a year. Lancaster County and York County have seen the most tornadoes with both counties averaging a tornado about once every two years. Last year on May 27th, we had three tornadoes two EF0 tornadoes, which hit Cumberland County and Franklin County, and one EF1 tornado, which hit Kirkwood, Lancaster County. Our most recent strong tornado hit Campbelltown in Lebanon County in 2004. I looked up and I about to start crying. I'm like, oh my God, we don't have a ceiling. The F3 tornado had winds around 175 miles per hour and was on the ground for more than seven miles. It destroyed 32 homes and injured 24 people. Tornadoes are ranked on a scale based on damage they cause. The enhanced Fujita scale goes from zero to five, with zero being the weakest and five being the strongest. The majority of tornadoes in the Susquehanna Valley are in the EF0 to EF2 range. Even though our tornadoes tend to be weaker, they still can cause considerable damage. An EF2 tornado with winds of 125 miles per hour touched down near Whitehorse, Lancaster County in 2016, causing damage to 50 buildings. The tornado ripped part of a roof off a building where more than 100 people were gathered for an auction. In 2019, an EF2 tornado hit St. Thomas Township, Franklin County, leaving a three mile path of damage with winds up to 125 miles per hour. The whole roof was gone, just tore it right off the top. Metal wrapped in the trees. It was just unbelievable. Tornado watches are issued by the National Weather Service if conditions are favorable for tornadoes to form. If a storm is showing signs of rotation on radar or if a tornado has been spotted, a tornado warning is issued. Attention, this little curve down in here. This is when a WGAL News 8 Storm Team meteorologist will go on air to warn those in danger and tell them to take action. The safest place to be is downstairs. If there is no downstairs, the innermost room on the lowest part of the house is the safest. Get under a table. A roof or a wall may collapse and a table is added protection. Cover your head. Head trauma from flying debris is one of the leading causes of death from tornadoes. And finally, keep away from windows. Even weak spin-up tornadoes can send flying shards of glass through a room that can injure or even kill a person.